How's it going, everyone? Today we got a story time of a spoiled kid who throws a wrench at the teacher's car and absolutely just destroys it, tries to blame it on the subscriber. It's a pretty crazy story, so sit back, relax, subscribe to the channel if you're new, leave a like on the video to claim your free nothing. And with that being said, let's just jump right into it. So we're gonna call the subscriber who submitted this story, Ben. Anyways, right, so uh, Ben went to school with this kid who we're gonna call the Spoiled Kid. The Spoiled Kid was super entitled, he was super annoying, and like, he was just like, I don't know, he was the type of kid that received everything in his life, never had to work for anything, and for that reason, he kinda had a certain mentality about him. And like, at the end of the day, I always am kinda conflicted with these Spoiled Kid videos, cause it's like, is it the spoiled kid's fault or is it the parent's fault? I kind of like, you know, I kind of side that it's the parent's fault. But at the end of the day, like, still, what is he doing throwing a wrench at a teacher's car and then blaming the subscriber? Anyways, this all happens on a nice spring day, right? I don't know about you guys, but whenever the day is really nice in spring, sometimes my teachers will be real cool and be like, you know what, we're going to have class outside. Like, I, I don't know, it's I'm always kind of mixed on class outside because one, being outside on a great day is awesome and it really does make your mood a lot better. However, that also means it's a lot harder to mess around on your computer in class. So if you're not interested in the class and this is kind of meaning like, okay, you get to be outside, but also now you have to kind of pay attention. Anyways, right, so sure enough, they all go outside and the teacher's car is there. They just happen to be near the parking lot. So anyways, right, the spoiled kid is like, goes up to the subscriber and his group of friends, and it's like, guys, guys, you're gonna wanna see this, man. You're gonna wanna see this. And uh, so sure enough, right, the spoiled kid, like, pulls out a wrench, and then he, like, in his other hand, there's a big toolbox. So the spoiled kid must have found, like, a toolbox that was laying around. My bet is it's just, like, I don't know, the maintenance person accidentally left a toolbox there. So yeah, the spoiled kid was like taking stuff out of the toolbox, messing around with it. Some of the other kids were also kind of interested because it was like, I don't know, toolbox is fairly interesting. Like there's a lot of interesting stuff in there. So yeah, the kids were messing around with the toolbox. And uh, so the subscriber was kind of just like, I don't know, looking from afar. Uh, I don't know. He's just like, it's not like he's never seen a toolbox before, bro. It's like, why am I interested in this? I've seen this before. In fact, like I use this all the time. So the subscriber is kind of just watching. And the spoiled kid has a wrench. He takes the wrench out of the toolbox. And he's like, oh, look at this. And he like throws it up into the air. It spins around a couple times and catches it. I don't know, kind of to like show off like, I don't know, like a little trick or something. I don't totally know. But yeah, sure enough, the spoiled kid throws the wrench up into the air again. And the spoiled kid's like, watch this. And this, so the spoiled kid closes his eyes, throws the wrench up into the air, and does the same thing again, right? So all the kids are like, ooh, like, I bet you can't throw it up even higher with your eyes closed. Which, by the way, guys, a wrench is pretty heavy. Don't be throwing that in the air, bro. But yeah, either way, the spoiled kid wasn't paying attention to all the naysayers. He was blocking out the haters with his anti-hater sunglasses, shades, or whatever, right? So the spoiled kid kept throwing the wrench higher and higher into the sky. So at this point, the subscriber's like, hey man, you might not want to do that. Totally fair statement, you know, in my opinion, but like, what are you going to do about it? But yeah, so sure enough, right, the spoiled kid is just kind of sitting there, just like continuing to throw it up. I, I think the spoiled kid just like getting positive attention from his peers, you know what I mean? So yeah, the spoiled kid threw the thing, like the, the wrench into the, uh, the sky higher and higher and higher. So this was going okay, like Karma wasn't about to hit this kid, until the spoiled kid, one of his throws, he decides he wants to whip it up as high as possible. So to do that, he really needs to crank his arm back to really throw it up really high. So the problem with this is that when the spoiled kid was cranking his arm back, he accidentally cranks it like, he, he lets go too soon. So instead of letting go when it's like directly above him, so it goes straight up, he lets go like at like, I don't know, maybe a, a, like, a, a, like a 90 or maybe 70 degree angle. So, and he still like lets go, like whips it out with the same amount of force. And remember, this kid was trying to throw it as far up as possible. So he was whipping his arm as quickly as possible. So he lets go too soon and the wrench, instead of flying straight up, flies straight, like straight. So it like one kid, it almost hits one kid. He dodges out of the way just in time, but the wrench goes right past the kid, which probably would have been a lot worse if it hit the kid in the head or something. That might've been a real issue, but goes right past the kid, right through the window of the teacher's car 
it just destroys it, just shatters it. So like windows are normally fairly, like window shields on cars are, are normally pretty good. However, uh, they're supposed to shatter if like on contact or whatever, just so that it doesn't break into big chunks because that's when it's really an issue. Because like imagine you hit something and the glass like shatters into chunks and when the chunks hits you. So it's supposed to really shatter if it gets broken. Yeah, so the subscriber, the other kids, and the Minecraft kid are all just standing around. Their uh, their mouths are dropped, like they're all shocked as they watch. As like they're they're just looking at the damage, as there's a wrench on the seat of the teacher's car, right through a massive shattered hole in the windshield. Um. So yeah, they're all just mad silent for a second because they're all thinking like, okay, this just happened. What can I do about this right now? So yeah, sure enough, the subscriber, he's the first one to say something like, uh, well, we gotta go tell the teacher. And the spoiled kid's like, whoa, 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 whoa. We do not need to tell the teacher because we would get in massive trouble. And the subscriber looks at the spoiled kid and is kind of like, I don't know what you mean by we would get in massive trouble. I was just standing here. Like, my other guys here were just, like, looking at the tools you were closing your eyes and whipping a wrench as far up into the sky as you possibly could. And since you can't throw properly, apparently, uh, you threw it at maximum velocity through the windshield of our teacher's car. I don't know how what I just described to you gets us all in trouble. So yeah, the spoiled kid is kind of like, whoa, 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 like that's not how it happened. I'm pretty sure we all contributed to the car's windshield getting destroyed. And obviously everyone else is like, dude, like, how on earth did we all contribute to the car's windshield getting destroyed? Like, it's pretty obvious that not all of them did. So, yeah, anyways, right, you know, the spoiled kid's like, well, from my recollection, it was actually a Brady, and he turns to some random kid. I remember you throwing it in the car. So basically the spoiled kid is saying that he is going to blame Brady. But that's when everyone else is like, look, dude, we're just going to, if someone asks, we're just going to tell what happened. And are they really going to believe, like, it's five of us versus one of you? And the spoiled kid's like, well, there is plenty of evidence. And they're all like, what do you mean? Like, what evidence are you even talking about right now? The spoiled kid's like, well, it's all around you, actually. The evidence is pretty clear. And they're like, well, what evidence? Like, what evidence is really clear? He's like, well, it's just, it's just so obvious. Brady looks like the guy that would throw a wrench through a windshield, doesn't he? And they're like, dude, what's, what's that even mean? It's like, that's not even like a stereotype. Like, oh my God, he looks so like the dude who would throw a wrench through a windshield. Dude, there's no stereotype for that because no one does that, bro. Like, that's not even like common enough of a thing for someone to get categorized for that. So they all tell him he's being stupid and should just like accept the fact that he's about to get owned. So yeah, uh, anyways, right. Their worst fears are about to come true because uh, they hear the teacher walking over. Because the whole point, like, they were just, like, told, like, they, oh, it's, like, outside class today, so all the kids were outside. But the teacher is like, oh, I need to go in and print something. I need to print out whatever. So for the last five or ten minutes, it's been because, like, the teacher wasn't there because she was, you know, inside printing stuff. And most of the other kids were on the other side of the, kind of, like, the school or, like, on the other side of the wall or something. And so the teacher comes around trying to find where the spoiled kid, the subscriber, and the other guys were. She comes around, she's like, oh, that's where you guys are. Uh... In mid-sentence, she stops speaking. And that's the subscriber's like, oh, no. Because, yeah, the subscriber looks at her eyes, turns around to trace exactly where she's looking at, and, yeah, sure enough, uh, she's looking directly at the massive broken windshield on her car with the wrench in the front seat. And then she looks down, and she looks down at the subscriber, she looks down at the spoiled kid, and she looks down at all the other guys. And you know what's around their feet? A toolbox! So yeah, she pretty quickly put two and two together, and she's like, you, all of you, go to the principal's office right now! Right, she's like really upset, and they're like, okay, I'm sorry, we didn't do it. And like the spoiled kid is like, it was, it was all of them. They ganged up on me and forced me to throw it through the windshield. And they're all like, what? No, bro was just like trying to like flex that he could throw a wrench around without looking at it. <laughs> Such a goofy thing to flex, by the way. Yeah, so sure enough, right, the teacher isn't hearing any of it because right now all, like, right, the majority of what's on the teacher's mind at this very moment is the fact that there's a wrench through her car. Look, teachers kind of take a bit of a, you know, a, like a monastic oath in a sense that, like, 
to teaching to like to to better the next generation teachers don't get paid jack bro like that that's just the reality of the situation they choose to you know enter the teaching profession because they really find it valuable and they know that they are kind of shaping the next generation so they don't get uh, they don't get paid well which means that yeah a uh, a wrench through the window even though she probably has some form of insurance is still going to cost some money that she doesn't want to like cough up right so that's most of what's on the subscri- uh, on the teacher's mind. And then on top of that, all these kids are just screaming randomly about it. And I don't think the teacher's trying to take the time out of her day to sort through things, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so anyways, right, the spoiled kid, the subscriber, and the other guys are basically just sent to the principal's office. Um, they're sent, well, they're not just sent up to the principal's office because the teacher goes up with them. Um, the teacher then real quick tells the rest of the class, like, all right, um, Let's just, like, like you guys, you know, uh, just go back into the classroom, go to chapter whatever, like, everyone knows that, uh, or everyone has kind of figured out that the reason why they're no longer allowed to have an outside day, which was super rare and super nice, was because of the subscriber, the spoiled kid, and the other kid. So they're all giving them super dirty looks as the teacher walks with the spoiled kid, the subscriber, and all the other guys up to the front office. And, uh, yeah, so at this point, you know, the spoiled kid is getting a lot of dirty looks from the subscriber and his friends because he's like, oh my God, they did it. They threw it. They, they made me throw it. Like, what do you mean they made you throw it, bro? Like, this is just another trait of spoiled kids that you guys will probably see is the lack of accountability. They will never hold themselves accountable. They will have no honor, right? If they perform a bad action, they will immediately turn and try and blame someone else. Honestly, I think that, like, one of the most respectable traits, in my opinion, and in the people I respect, I see it the most commonly, is the ability to take full responsibilities for not just the things you get wrong, but also the things you get right. If you did something correct, take responsibility. But if you're willing to do that... It is you must be willing to take the other side of it, too. Just a little piece of actual advice. If you want to take anything away from today's fun video, take that away. Anyways, right, so they're all walking up to the front office, and they sit down. And the teacher is like, you know, they're all sent into a room or something as the teacher goes into the principal's office to kind of explain what happened. Real quick, if you made it as far into the video, comment office down below. If you're on YouTube, go in the YouTube comment section. If you're on Spotify, go in the Spotify comment section. And if if, if you're on YouTube, check the pinned comment for a link to the Spotify. If you do want to follow me on there and listen there, that'd be pretty cool. And then also do me a favor and hit save on this video. Save to watch later if you're watching on YouTube. I just want to test out if that helps out the video in the long run. We'll see. Little science experiment we're all, we are all doing together. So it takes one second. Go ahead and do that. And of course, Leave a like in the video to claim your free nothing. But anyways, right, so sure enough, the subscriber, the spoiled kid, and the other kids are all sitting in this room, basically waiting for the principal and the teacher to come in. The teacher's giving the principal the rundown of what happened, and probably next they're going to be interrogated. So the spoiled kid is sitting there really quietly as the subscriber and his friends are angrily looking at him. Which I understand why the subscriber was angry, but once again, you're dealing with the un, like the like the the not so honorable spoiled kid. It's not like you could have really expected him to be better. However, I understand the frustration. So eventually, the principal comes into the room, and they're all sitting there, and the principal's like, "Well, like I heard that you threw like one of you guys or together somehow, you know, really damaged, you know, your teacher's car." It's like, you know that that'll be really expensive for her. It'll be at least a headache, even if insurance covers a lot of it. And, like, your teacher was letting you guys outside today. Like, that was supposed to be, supposed to be a privilege. And so the, t- the principal is like, all right, well, what I want to get accomplished here is just let's get to the bottom of this. So, yeah, um, immediately the spoiled kid's like, ah, it was their fault. They encouraged me to throw the wrench through the teacher's car. And, like, all of them kind of, like, their eyes, like, perk up for a second. They all look over at the spoiled kid. Because if you listen really closely, the spoiled kid doesn't realize what he's doing. The spoiled kid thinks that he is putting the blame off of him and onto them. But in reality, he's just simply admitting that, you know, he was the one who threw the wrench through the car. So the principal, realizing this and also wanting to keep up, you know, the candid, you know, uh, I don't know, admission, right, looks at the spoiled kid's like, oh, so they were encouraging you to throw the wrench. Uh, what exactly happened? The spoiled kid's like, so I found this toolbox. And it was really cool. And uh, I was showing them my cool tools. And I had this wrench and they were all like, oh, I bet you can't throw it up into the air with your eyes closed. And I was like, yeah, I can. And they were being so mean. So I was like, I'm going to prove them wrong. And I did. And I accidentally 
th- through the wrench, through the car. And then they were all like, thanks for doing exactly what we said. Right, so the spoiled kid thought he just like got all of them, but in reality, he just admitted to the crime. If this was in court, the spoiled kid's attorney would have literally given himself the biggest like face palm, like, dude, my client's an actual idiot type moment. So yeah, the principal's like, okay, well, that's really good to know. Can you boys confirm the story? And they said, the subscriber speaks up and says, yeah, we confirm everything besides saying that he should throw the rents to the car. The rest of it's true, but that's ridiculous. And the spoiled kid's like, well, you guys were like probably thinking it. Spoiled kid is digging himself a bigger grave. And they were like, all right, so none of you guys, you know, were messing with the wrench that went through this teacher's car. They were like, yeah. And they were like, okay, well, first of all, I just want to let you guys know that you guys are going to be left off with a warning um, because, you know, you shouldn't have gone through the ground, groundskeeper's uh, toolbox. Like, you know, that's, that's not a good thing to do. The subscriber didn't even touch the toolbox, but at this point he realized that this was the equivalent of getting off the hook, so there's no need for him to distance himself from the other kids. Like, that, that would just be, like, stupidly aggravating the other kids, right? So, yeah, they're, the principal's like, all right, so you guys are free to go. So they get up to leave, but the spoiled kid gets up to leave as well. And the principal's like, whoa, 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 like a spoiled kid, like, uh, where do you think you're going? And he's like, what? Oh, what do you mean? Or am I going to be rewarded for telling the truth? Uh, and they're like, what? what? <laughs> like, you're going to get a reward for throwing a wrench through your teacher's car? Are you insane? Yeah, so it turns out the spoiled kid genuinely thought he was going to be rewarded for throwing a wrench through the teacher's car and just being, like, telling the truth about it. So, yeah, the spoiled kid stays in there as the subscriber and his friends walk back to the classroom. Um, So the teacher's kind of informed of what happened, and when they walk back to the classroom, the teacher's like, can you guys come up? And uh, comes over, and she's like, hey, sorry for yelling at you guys. I couldn't really figure out who did what. Um, You guys are totally free. You're free to go back in class. And we are actually going back outside. So the teacher stands up, makes an announcement saying, hey, like, we're actually all going back outside. Everyone's super happy. Class is basically, like, there's 20 minutes left. So it's, like, basically done. So the teacher literally just says, you guys can just go outside. Be in eyesight of me. Um, but other than that, yeah, you're, you're free to just go out there and chill. So that one's really happy. The spoiled kid has to, like... I don't know, has, is like, I don't get some kind of punishment, right? It has to like write an apology letter to the teacher. And apparently in the apology letter, he was still like, I'm so sorry that my friends like forced me to do it. So the teacher sent the apology letter, or at least the initial apology letter to the principal's office. And the principal actually makes the spoiled kid go back and write an entirely new apology letter. Cause she was like, nah, this is not cutting it, bro. Like this is not accepting the responsibility for your actions. So yeah. Uh, If you want to support the channel, click on one of the videos on screen right now, and uh, peace.